Welcome back my friends, we are building the card game war for the Ybyte Python curriculum available at www.ybyte.in. In this video we look at the game rules. As mentioned earlier, war is a card game of chance played with the standard 52 card card deck. We first shuffle the cards and divide the cards equally among two players which means both the players get 26 cards. Neither player gets to see their cards. Now. Both the players take the top card of their pile and put it onto the table. So, you know, computer puts up one and the player puts out one. And then we compare. Whichever player has a higher card wins. Now, once the player wins, the player takes all the cards on the table and places them in his or her pack. The interesting bit is that while determining the higher card, we ignore the suit. Which means, for example, uh, two of spade will be seen as lower than eight of clubs. Because it doesn't matter, all we are looking at, it doesn't matter what the suit is, all we are looking at is the number 2 and the number 8. And likewise for all the other cards. It's also possible that both the players throw an equal card. In this case, what happens is interesting, a war begins. During a war, each player contributes 3 new cards to the pile face down. And then pulls out a 4th card, which is compared. Just like earlier. Now again, winner takes all or it just so happens, let's say both cards are equal again, then a new war erupts until we are able to resolve this thing. Now to make all this very clear, I've tried to build an animation. Let's go through it very quickly and that will make it more clear before we get on with building this game. Like I said, the game starts with, you know, both the players getting 26 cards from a shuffled lot. Now notice you shuffled this card, so we really do not know in what order they are in. They're all mixed up. Uh, but basically player has 26 cards, computer has 20, 26 cards and there's nothing on the table. As I said, both players contribute one card each. So for example, player played the top card, it happened to be 8 of clubs. Computer played up the top card, it happened to be ace of hearts. Now clearly A is bigger than 8 because ace is more than 8 and hence computer has 1. The two table cards that means are going to go back to the computer who is going to put them at the bottom of the pile. So notice here at the end of this move, which has completed without any kind of a war. Player has 25 cards and computer has now 27 cards because both of these cards came to the, uh, to the you know, uh, uh, to the computer. Now, next time when they play, notice I've intentionally put C, A and D, A because I want to create a war situation. A war happens because both of them have put out an ace. Now, clearly this has to be resolved. But before that, both must contribute three cards each to the pile. So they do that, you know, it, so both have 24 and 26 respectively. They contribute three cards each. So player is left with 21, computer is left with 23. Table cards have become eight because there were two to start with. Three from each have been contributed. There are eight table cards. Now they pull out the top card from their pile. So it happens to be, let's say, uh, C6 and D2. So in this case, player is winning because clearly six is more than two. Player is left with 20 cards right now, 22 cards on the computer, 10 cards on the table. Now keep in mind that 20 plus 10 plus 22, the sum of these three will always be 52. Now that player has won this, the player is going to get all the cards, which means all of these cards are going to end up with the player. The move gets over after a war because we have been able to resolve it. Once again, table cards are zero. Player has now 30 cards, computer has 22 cards because remember the total number of cards is 52. Now clearly if a war had happened again then same thing would have happened both would have contributed three cards then a fourth card to resolve and whoever wins will get all the cards as we uh, you know and this just continues. Now the game can in fact continue forever and ever again but in our project we are going to limit the number of moves so you know once the move is completed let's say you know probably we'll play for say 10 or 20 moves we see who has more cards for example in this case let's say this was the ending situation player has more cards so we say player has one compared to the computer player has 30 cards this is 22 cards now having understood these rules we are going to come back in the next video and start building this in a step-by-step -step manner in python um, you know and see how different concepts come together as we build this game if you find that this way of learning python is fun where we build activities we apply concepts and the learning is so much more effective do look at our website because we have lots and lots of such activities in our website take care thank you so much Bye bye